So I grew up in uh, a very small town in South Dakota. Um, it was about 2,000 people, maybe, uh, and my parents' first child was, uh, it still is, <laughs> my, parents, my parents' first child was born with Down syndrome. Uh, he's my older brother, Adam, um, and it was uh, sort of a, a shock to them, you know, two first-time parents in the, in the early 80s in a, in a very small town. Uh, and then I came along and um, we moved to a slightly larger town of about 10,000 people. Uh, and then that was kind of the first time that we're sort of, I felt that we were sort of outside our bubble. And it was the first time that I kind of started to notice that maybe people that didn't know my brother uh, as well as the very small town that we came from uh, treated him a little bit differently. And, and not necessarily treated him poorly, uh, but just differently, um, differently specifically than they treated me. Um, and so uh, that ranged from things like we'd go to the dentist. And uh, I would say that this is kind of indicative of uh, the entire uh, Special Olympics athlete population. But a lot of times, uh, an athlete's specific reaction to something um, is either uh, misinterpreted or maybe misdiagnosed. Um, and that leads to uh, a different type of care than uh, somebody without an intellectual disability would, would get. Um, and the, uh, the drill, you know, when they would just clean your teeth, and, and it wasn't going to hurt, but the sound was so scary uh, that my brother would have real problems, like maybe he'd start crying, or maybe he would uh, kind of make a scene. And so, uh, and, and the dentists, you know, they're, they're very nice people, they're very, very patient, but they would just sort of be like, you know, okay, his teeth are fine. Um, you know, we gotta, <laughs> like we, we have more appointments, we have more, um, and so it, it took a fair amount of advocacy on my parents' part uh, to be like, you know, you just have to stick with it. You just have to, and so uh, my parents, who don't necessarily have any medical training, but my parents really had to be Adam's sort of advocate in, in all these different medical situations uh, where they had to um, really educate the, the primary care uh, physician or educate the dentist, you know, educate um, the orthodontist, things like that, about um, when Adam says or does this, you know, it's, it's because of this. Like, it's either because he's scared or it's because uh, he, he's not sure what's going to happen. So maybe, like, you know, break everything down that you're going to do or break everything down and why so that he has a better understanding. Uh, because it's very easy to, you know, if, if somebody, um, you know, has, starts yelling or something like that, it's very easy to just dismiss that person. And so, um, but I, I can pinpoint uh, a lot of very positive things that have come from having a sibling with a disability. And... Um, I honestly, I, I feel like I can confidently say that a lot of things that I have done, some of the things that I'm most proud of, uh, being in the Peace Corps, working for Special Olympics, um, I like to think I still would have been like a pretty decent guy <laughs> had, had my brother not uh, been born with an extra chromosome. Uh, but just even from a very young age, um, needing to be more patient, just out of necessity, and explaining to uh, people, you know, explaining to the older kids in the playground, uh, that nothing's wrong with Adam, he's just different. Uh, or um, just having that, uh, just a, a little bit more empathy. And, and not that I'm a saint by any means. Like, I, I don't mean to make it, uh, make it sound like, so here's the thing, I'm an amazing person. <laughs> like, I, so, uh, but just, uh, there, there's just been um, very marked instances in my life where uh, outside of the context of having a sibling with a disability, I've been in a situation where maybe I, I gave, gave someone just a, a couple extra minutes of patience or uh, stopped and paused and thought about maybe where is this person coming from, um, where I don't know that I would have done that had I not had a sibling with a disability.